Well, Bill, who's here? Well, this is Brian. Um, he's one of the engineers and owners of uh, Brigade Firearms. Is that correct? Did I, did I get anything wrong? Or? Yeah, uh, manager rather than uh, engineer, okay, but manager. help out right, over right, there right, overall. Yeah. Yeah. So um, the Mikasi is a, a brand new gun that they've just, just come out with. Um, it's half FAL and half AR. Um, the lower half is AR and the upper half is FAL. Um, instead of being a, a um, direct impingement like the uh, AR is, uh, this is a piston driven model. So um, each has advantages, uh, each has disadvantages. It's kind of like, you know, what do you like best, you know. Yep. Um, it's kind of personal preference. I kind of like piston driven guns, just always have. Okay, the range rules are this. There's my authority, and then there's God. <laughs> if you obey my authority, then we won't need God to try and fix the problem. So There's only one person on the range that gets to say whether it's a safe or hot line, and that is me. I am the RSO. I'm the guy in charge. Nobody else says it's okay to shoot or not okay to shoot. Out. Second, lock the bolt back in the open position like these guys are here. And then put your range flags inside your chamber, okay? When I see those range flags, I know there's nothing in those chambers. I can see from the distance. But also, even when you're doing that, when you're manipulating the gun, do your very best to keep your pointed straight down range. All right? Let's have fun, guys. That's good. All right, cool. Let's do it. Ah. One other thing, make sure you got your eyes and ear protection on. If I start to call a line hot and you say, hey, hold it, I don't have my ear protection on, I'm going to hold the line up until you got it on. So we want everybody to keep your ears and your eyes as much in one piece as you can because you only got two of each. And they're very precious. <laughs> they are precious, yeah. He's got one and a half. <laughs> they, no, the ears is done. No, he's, he's got about two and three quarters. <laughs> he's going to say what's inside. Yeah. This gun is not an AR-15. The bottom half is AR-15. This is all AR, but the upper is all FAL. So oh. this is a hybrid between the two. Wow, it looks like an a a a AR-15. It looks a little like an AR-15, but it, it's very different. One of the big things that you can see is that there's no big tube coming back off the back of here for the buffer to be in, okay? This is piston driven. The AR-15 is what's known as direct impingement, so it's, it's a different system of, of firing. But um, this, this one seems to have more horsepower or more, more TNT. It's got a little more punch to it, yeah, it hits a little harder. One, it's got a heavier round. Like I said, this is like shooting a 30-30. So okay. it's it's a good powerful round. Um, that one is faster. The 556 is a faster bullet. But this one's heavier. It has more impact energy. And what is more accurate would you say? Honestly, if you've got a good accurate gun, they're both extremely accurate. When your eyesight is not good, this rear objective you can crank this around and move it in and out and it will correct for your vision weakness. Um, as we get older our eyesight is not as good. And so you can collect, correct for a lot of that with your scope. So you can wear the protective lenses. You can wear the protective eyeglasses for shooting now. Yeah, I just, I just changed from being able to see well with these to being able to see well with these. These are non-corrective. These are corrective lenses, but that helps. That straightens things out for me so okay, I can see cool. the target really well. That helps. So, and it helps, yeah. And once you can see a little bit better, you can shoot a little bit better. What is it? Cheap steel piece ammo. We'll see how it does. Well, hit right on where it's supposed to. Yeah, shoot these guys or whatever you want to shoot. Yeah. So I'll, I'm gonna do some this, rounds on this Picasso. Okay, cool. Uh, ten cool. and a half. All right, that's the ten and a half inch barrel. 
Tell okay. us, tell us what you got. Tell us what you're doing. So right now, I'm gonna experiment with the uh, ten and a half inch Picasso. This is about to be released soon, mm -hmm. the next week or so. It'll be on our webpage. It'll go live. So I'm just doing some, you know, final testing. It's already dialed in, running perfect, and now I'm just enjoying the gun. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what we're doing. What, 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 cali what, what caliber is it? Stock, five five six, six POS uh, buffer tube adapter in the mm -hmm. rear, so you can put the pistol stabilizer. Okay. Folding stock. And just like the sixteen inch. Well. When did you guys start production on this? This, um, we are about to start production on Okay. This. Okay. And, and when was the first test model made? First test model, about, uh, about a month ago. And that's, on the, that's on the 10 inch? Yep. Okay. And this is my personal, so I'm going to enjoy this guy. Yeah. <laughs> yep. What is that one? This here, this is my other Mikasi. Okay. 16 inch. See, that's rifle. You can just make a gun whenever you want it. I mean, <laughs> I don't even have all of our lineup in my, under my name, so I'm a little bit behind. Okay. Yeah. We have some friends and customers that have more guns than I do. Uh -huh. I'm a little jealous of them. I know, so. but I had to buy mine. Uh -huh, yeah. <laughs> so, well, I pay for this one in sweat. And, um, yeah. This one here, 16 inch, uh, folding peristop. As you see here, folds here just before the charging handle. It's also a non-reciprocating charging handle, so once it's loaded, you can shoot just like this folded. Won't have any issues. So who wants that when you can shoot it like this? So, yeah, a lot more accurate uh, with three-point hold. Yeah, and what I did here, I just added the front grip, you know, just to add a little more comfort, you know, just a little accessorizing. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, it's real nice. I like that, your hands don't burn when it yep. gets too hot. Exactly. And when you train with it, you have a lot of muscle memory of AR-15. Right. So, there's not much of a trade-off to go shoot the Mikasi AR-15. You're still going to practice that muscle memory, so yeah. it's, uh, it's a convenient tool. All your controls on this are in the same place as they are on the AR, yep. because the lower is where all the controls are, and that's, that's all AR. From exactly. The, kind of from the neck down, if you will. So there's a lot of familiarity there, and you have that aftermarket at your disposal too. Everybody, you know, grips, it's not one size fits all. Every grip is different. Yep. Everyone has a different preference. This is my preferred grip. Yeah. Some people hate this grip. I love this grip. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so. Yeah, I went with a slightly different grip on this one. Yeah. It has a, a little bigger palm swell in it and all that, and that's comfortable for me. But exactly. everybody's hands are different. Yep. So. Cool. Well, guys, so, let's make it a hot line and put it. some rounds down range. Let's do it. Is it hot? Okay, we're going hot. Okay. Let's go. You uh, you got the can. You got the gun, the gun scrubber oil can right here with your shells. Good oh, yeah. shot. I knocked it off the table. At least I hit something. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. he got the water bottle. That's it. That's 100 points right there. All right. Okay, here we go. This is 16 inch. Just made a few little changes experimenting with. Okay. We'll see how it goes. Is this in the market yet? Not. Okay, yeah, that was high left. Oh, it shoots it forward. The shell goes forward, that's cool. Okay. 
All right, now, I was a sniper, so, you know, I mean, you, you kind of expect me to have a nice tight group in the middle, and that's that's fine. Um, this is the Bryant. He's he's one of the owners of the uh, uh, Brigade Firearms, and he's the manufacturer of this Mikasi. And this is his group. This is our cameraman. <laughs> hey, everybody. Bill1911 here. Hey, listen, if you're watching this video, if you're enjoying it, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, okay? That's really important to us. And make sure you like us, and by all means, come to visit us at AskBill1911.com.